Who are you? Where are you from? I didn't know that you even exist. So, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? A lot of you guys had discovered about me in the last few days, and you guys are asking me to do some English content. People from different parts all over the world, but the biggest part is from United States. So. That's why I'm here. I am Rodrigo Teaser. I was born and raised in Brazil. I'm a Michael fan since I was five years old and I started to imitate him when I was nine years old and since then I never stopped. I passed through all the phases of my life as a kid, as a teenager, all the phases doing that. And this is something that makes me very, very happy. I started to do that as a hobby, just for fun. But then I realized that I love that so much and tried to do that in a professional way. So that became something very serious. I could watch Michael twice in uh, the two concerts that he performed here in Brazil with Dangerous Tour. And I could tell you guys that those days changed my life. I never forget that and I could tell you guys that the, the thing that, that I do in my shows and my concerts in some way is trying to put myself in that place again. Because I love Michael so much, I started to study him. I started to study singing, dancing, stage and light. And also, I learned how to speak in English on my own. So, if I said something wrong, I'm sorry guys, you know, I just learned by myself. And I just learned just to understand better his songs, his speeches, just to get, uh, just a few more close to him. I grew up perform in small concerts, in small parties, and using that as experience to perform in biggest, stages and biggest parties and biggest productions biggest 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 at the point that I got today in 2009 like millions of fans around the world I was getting prepared to watch Michael in the this is it concerts in London O2 arena and when Michael passed I spent um, some time not knowing what to do not knowing whether or not I should continue to do that and when I watched the this is it documentary I had the idea to produce the biggest tribute I ever had a chance. And I'm talking about a full concert with live band, with professional dancers, first class costumes, uh, pyro effects, lasers, stage lifters, um, LED screen with my own content. We produce our own content. Uh, you know, with the light design. You know, I I'm talking about the, 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 the the whole thing because I think that getting that show that big uh, put me in places that the biggest Brazilian singers performed. That's why I changed the whole game here in Brazil because I put the tribute concerts in the biggest venue of Brazil and not only Brazil but also the all the places that we have performed. Tem fã do Michael aqui? Me and my wife produced the whole thing by ourselves without sponsors, without producers, without help. We just learn how to do it and we do it. Uh, at the beginning, I thought that we, we could perform maybe two, three, four times a year. I didn't think that we could have a tour or something like that. To my surprise, I found that there's a beautiful place in the hearts of Michael's fans for uh, tributes like that, for impersonators like me and because of those fans, 
Uh, my concerts are growing more and more and more in the last seven years. We got the opportunity to perform in biggest venues each time, for more people each time, and biggest audience each time, and it's something that makes me very, very proud. Since 2014, I have the honor to have as my director none other than Lavelle Smith Jr., uh, the original choreographer and dancer of Michael, and he used the 20 plus years that he spent with Michael to help me to understand Michael's art, to understand the whole concept that Michael's concert and that represents something very important in my life. Uh, we not only had uh, the, the opportunity to work as director, but also we shared the stage and, and we could share the stage not only Brazil but outside Brazil too. And 2019 we have uh, a beautiful experience. Uh, we could share uh, the stage again, me, Lavelle, my whole team. And we have the honor to share the stage also with Jennifer Batten, the guitar hero of the whole Michael's tour. And it was a very special moment. We had uh, a special tour here in Brazil with all the concerts sold out. Besides perform here in Brazil, I perform also in Chile, Paraguay, Uruguay, Colombia, Mexico, Czech Republic, and a lot of places. Here in Brazil, I have my own career as a singer, as a composer. My songs are in Portuguese, which is my native language, by the way. <laughs> Right now, I am preparing to release a new song, and it is my first unreleased song in English. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here in Brazil, although in a small way, my songs occasionally were, are playing in some radio stations, my music videos are also playing some TV stations, but I truly believe that is another way to show the world that Michael lives inside me, not only when I was uh, on a stage with makeup on, you know? I, I truly believe that is, an, uh, is another level to show that Michael uh, is a huge inspiration for me. One thing that I, I like to guys know is that in 2022, next year, we perform for the first time in the United States. It will be our first American tour. My concerts try to represent Michael Arts without interference. So we don't change the costumes, we don't change choreographies, uh, we don't change the music arrangements. We try to represent uh, the, the, the essence of Michael. We try to, to bring the audience uh, the magic, you know? Of course, I know that no one in the world could emulate Michael uh, with perfection. I know that Michael is just one of a kind. I truly believe that uh, when we perform, it's just a way to show the world that Michael's art, uh, that Michael's art lives inside of us in some ways. The Michael's music and dance and the whole spirit that Michael puts in his arts lives inside me in a way, lives inside you in a way. And this is about my tribute. I know that there's a millions of impersonators around the world. I don't want to take Michael's place. I just want to show that that guy, the King of Pop, changed my life. I truly believe that our tribute is above all the things, a celebration to his music, his art, and his legacy. And it's my way to show the world and say, thank you, Michael, you changed my life. So in 2022, we can be together in some place around the world. And I really hope that you enjoy it. Until then, you are very welcome to be here in my channel. And we can talk about Michael, about my tribute, about my collections, about trivias, curiosities about Michael, anything you want. 
If you want to know something, just ask me here. You can ask anything. I promise you, I will be back and answer back the whole thing you want to know. If you're not subscribed, subscribe here to my channel. Be part of that. You are very welcome. My name is Rodrigo Teaser, and I see you next time.